Now you might have noticed we've not done too many videos since we've come back from the Philippines and unfortunately the reason for this I suspected rheumatoid arthritis. Haunted bit is it? You go first. Oh. <laughs> Mr Gibbs is the man of the house here, often comes to me at this time of the year with his own ponderings. Came to me the other day and said, uh, Father, I've been contemplating the hereafter. I said, whatever do you mean, Mr Gibbs? He said, often, he walks into a room and he can't remember what he's in hereafter. <laughs> So we're here today, here back in England, going to a place called Tinsford for a very Victorian Christmas. Now we got up early on a Sunday and we managed to get some tickets for the house. Big, big queue. Very lucky to get the tickets. That's a beautiful estate this, a National Trust place. And we're very excited to see what it's like. It's a very old house and they've turned it back a hundred years to show us what Christmas was like back in Victorian times. Okay, so that's the house in front of us. That's one of the actors for today. Very Victorian. There's an old tennis court down there. And here they come, Jane and grandmother. I'm not sure if anyone still lives here, probably though. But it's such an amazing estate, look how big it is. Incredible view. It's about half past nine on a Sunday morning. Just over two weeks to go until Christmas. And it's such a beautiful place. You can imagine waking up to an amazing view like this a house like this. Of course everybody in England lives in a house like this, don't they? <laughs> Only joking. Now the sun's just starting to come out. Wow, look at that. Such a stunning view of this place. And what a nice bench this is. Just to sit here and then to take in the view gardens are incredible. Now you might have noticed we've not done too many videos since we've come back from the Philippines and unfortunately the reason for this I suspected rheumatoid arthritis. I'm undergoing tests as we speak and it started since about May this year I started to get pains in my feet and my ankles my toes and uh, it spread into my arms, my fingers, my wrists, my shoulders, my knees, my neck, my back. All my joints were inflamed. Now I'll do a video which is more in depth explaining what this is. But uh, my health's been pretty bad lately. It's had a big effect on me emotionally, mentally. It's been very difficult, very difficult for me and for Jane. She sees me in pain on a constant basis, on a daily basis taking some medication to try to ease the symptoms but it's not working too well. My mobility is really starting to get affected. I'm not able to walk very much or very far. I'm having trouble picking things up, holding things, undoing things. Psychologically and mentally it's been very difficult, very very difficult. So please bear with us. Our plans haven't changed. We're still looking to retire to the Philippines as soon as we can. And in fact, those plans might have been brought forward a few years. I don't know how much longer I can stay in my job. It's a lot of unknown at the moment. Now we've started a Patreon account to help. This is gonna help us fulfill our dreams, but also it's gonna help us mainly to create better videos for you. We want you to follow us on our journey as we go from England to the Philippines and even especially so now as we battle this together I'm very worried about it
my health is deteriorating quite quickly. But my will, my fight, they're still there. We're going to set up some special videos for you. Some shout outs, we're going to do some language courses. Jane's going to teach both Isabella and myself how to speak Tagalog and Visayan. And uh, we can give you lessons too. So we hope you keep watching our videos, keep following us and support us. I hope you find them entertaining, interesting, educational even. by Bellini. A little bit curious because the, 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 the Christ child is, um, I don't want really assume from the Bible, he was the same age as John the Baptist. And it's John the Baptist in the background and obviously that's some artistic license or something going on there. But, uh, do come in. How are you finding the Victorian house? Interesting, very interesting. We've gone back in time, haven't we? To the 1800s, early 1900s even. And uh, some amazing old objects in the house. Really nicely decorated. It's a pram, an old Victorian pram. Very old. When the Duchess of Cambridge, um, you know, it was the baptism of Princess Charlotte, they pushed it. I think you have one like that, yeah. Uh, Thank you. 
do. <laughs> Children's room. They're all wooden toy train. They got the, they got their clothes all laid on the bed. Christmas stockings. Haunted room. It's a jolly Christmas card. Haunted bit, is it? You go first. <laughs> you go first. Your bravest, Go on, go on. You go first. You go. Around here several times, Susan. I don't know about it. It's not haunted. Go on. There it was. Boring. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<coughs> as we come into, you see the people who um, um, lived in the house that they were on the level of the bedrooms. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so they went straight into chapel from there. Oh, right, from, from, the, their from pages, there. It's a knocking noise, clicking noise. Oh, it's a, it's a chapel, isn't it? That's where the owner is. Yes, That's very much. That's a bit like this. There's a couple of the, uh, the children and um, my husband and my husband. Feel free to take your seats. I can knock out very quick, sir, if you like. <laughs> What's it? Snowdrops glisten in the fat December air. Reindeer snorkel through the undergrounds in search of sustenance. A thirsty bushel of yuletide plums bursts forth its plummy bounty. Christmas time is here. Timber! yelled the blind woodsman, swinging his axe into the load bearing wall. You'll find your pine tree here, called the struggle of the state over. Now kindly leave my way. Dinner shall be served at 7.15 instead of 7, announced the mildly inconvenient butler. Peel those cantankerous sprouts, called the cook <laughs> with her unusual choice of adjectives. These are the cries heard around the house at Christmas time, said the dashing reverend modestly. <laughs> it is the chaos and pattern that keeps it warm and merry at this time of year. Otherwise, we'd just be a frozen gang of penguins. Spring to come. <laughs> Indeed, Christmas is on its way. I see we've got a few uh, auditionees here for elves possibly working this Christmas. <laughs> Some of you doing a Christmas Eve? Working with the big lady in that? Yes. You need some help. You need some help. Indeed, Mr. Gibbs, he's the man of the house here, often comes to me at this time of the year with his own ponderings. He came to me the other day and said, uh, Father, I've been contemplating the hereafter. I said, whatever do you mean, Mr. Gibbs? He said, often, he walks into a room and he can't remember what he's in here after. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> now, I, I wonder, are we, uh, are we fancy sort of feeling made a Christmas carol, are we? One of the acoustics. Should we try a Christmas carol? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Ready to sing? <laughs> you ready to sing? Now, let's go for <laughs> the good King Wenceslas. Fantastic because you all know the beginning and then it becomes a mystery. We'll be on it together. <laughs> if we can do the one between two, I think it should be clear. Okay, thank you. Just go for clarity. So we're in a big echoey room. So uh, it's sort of like singing in your bathroom. It sounds fantastic. Are we all ready? <clears throat> one, two, three. Good, Good King Wenceslas looked the town on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep in crisp and even, bright he shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When a poor man came in sight, gathering winter fuel. 